Would you mind putting your seatbelt on for me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm telling you? You're in violation of Delaware state law, sir. Very good. good. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Name's right there. You see it? Oh, it's right there? Is it T-H-E-I-R or... Do you have your seatbelt on? Put your seatbelt on. Why would that be? Well, let's ask the police. Back to blue. Back to blue until it happens to you. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Ordered here, back again with another video. Today we're at the Delaware River and Bay Authority here in Newcastle, Delaware. We are here today as always to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. We have here the James G. Wilson Maintenance Building. What's up, man? Hey, what's up? Good. Who are you, man? Maintenance, what's up? Maintenance? Yeah, no, I'm good. I don't need help with maintenance. Right. Yeah, I don't need any help with maintenance, thanks. You have no, nothing with maintenance, that's for sure. I'm not looking for anybody. What are you video? I'm right now you. <laughs> this is private property. Oh, this is private property? No, it's our, it's a DRBA. I'm just asking. Yeah, no, I'm just taking some pictures and video, that's all. Okay. It's always private property. Who owns it? Who is the individual or corporation? private company that owns the private property they can never answer that question so that's the maintenance facility behind us fuel tank over here to our right so it looks like the DRBA police force. Hey, how are you? I'm doing well, sir. If you want to talk to me, you can get out of your vehicle and talk to me. You have your seatbelt on, sir? Do you have your seatbelt on? Put your seatbelt on, sir. Sir, you don't have your seatbelt on. You should put your seatbelt on. <laughs> Stay in the public areas. Do me a favor. The directive, the unnecessary directives, is what law enforcement live for. Absolutely insane. The unlawful directive. Stay in the public area. Maybe you should worry about yourself. Put your seatbelt on comply with the law and then maybe uh, maybe you can give me some suggestions on what to do Good. everything's great how are you so can you put your seatbelt on for me you understand what I'm saying now you're in violation of traffic law sir okay. Would you mind putting your seatbelt on for me? You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm telling you? Yeah, I do. So, so can you put stay on the sidewalk? So can you put your seat can you put your seatbelt on, sir? You're in violation of Delaware state law, sir. Very good. Very good. Can you put your seatbelt on? Am I driving right now? Well, you were driving when you came up here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you I didn't have your seatbelt on. on, no. Maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't. You didn't, sir. Good. So, so you, you should you should comply anywhere. with all laws of the state of Delaware, sir. Good. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Name's right there, you see it? Oh, it's right there? Is it T-H-E-I-R or T-H-E-I-R? Yep. Okay, right. right there. And your badge number officer right there? Mm -hmm. Your badge number officer right there? Have a good day. Do you have a badge number? Road, road, yeah, just put your seatbelt on for me, sir, just so okay. you can stay I'm safe out there, all right? I'm trying. Make, make sure you put your seatbelt on. <laughs> Again, make sure you stay on the public sidewalk. Make sure you stay in public. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> You want to tell another grown man, a free man and woman, what to do. Law enforcement wants to tell free men and women what to do and give unnecessary directives in order to insert, assert, excuse me, their dominance over you. But he didn't like it when I told him to put a seatbelt on, right? And he's the one in violation of federal, of state law. 
I'm engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. Laws and rules for thee, but not for me. That is what the motto of law enforcement and government officials are. You or I would have to pay a fine for not wearing our seatbelt. A victimless crime. Another thin blue line flag here. Absolutely disgusting. Jeepers back to blue. <laughs> Jeepers back to blue. Absolutely disgusting. That is the problem. This person's proud to be a part of the Thin Blue Line gang. I guarantee you the owner of this vehicle is a tyrant. Look at it. Look how proud he is to be a part of the Thin Blue Line gang. Look at it, back to blue. Back to blue until it happens to you. That's for sure. Thin Blue Line gang flags all over this vehicle here. All over. And then he has the nerve to have the We The People decal on here too. He's not part of the people. He has one We The People decal and five back to blue and thin blue line gang flag details. Decals, excuse me. I just know the per owner of that vehicle is an utter tyrant. So this is the Easy Pass customer service center here. Just finished dealing with those law enforcement officers outside. Wanted to give directives. Am I with the company? Yeah. What company? I don't know. Were you, were you taking pictures or something? Yeah, I'm not with the... What company was it? DRBA. The DRBA? No, I'm not with the DRBA. Why are you taking Oh, I'm just taking pictures and video. Well, I don't think that's permitted. You don't think it's permitted? No, it's not. It's not. Really? Not as you're not affiliated with anything here. It's not. You have oh, well, to be a DRBA I, I have to be a DRBA associate or employee? Yeah. Where? How do you know that? What do you, we'll soon find out, but I don't think you're supposed to be taking pictures here. Why are you taking pictures here anyway? Well, I just told you I'm just taking pictures of myself. Well, That's all. Hi, how are you, ma'am? Good. Um, I don't. Who are you, ma'am? Sorry. My name is Deborah. Deborah. My name is Sean. Deborah. Hi. Hi. Um, I don't need any help specifically. Okay. Um, I was. Are you the? Are you supervisor here? I'm a manager. You're the manager. Okay. Um, I just was having a conversation with one of the clerks here. And uh, she said that you had to be part of the DB DRBA um, agency in order to uh, record in here? Yes. Why would that be? Well, let's ask the police. They're right over here. Okay. Sure, we can ask the police. Yeah. That's fine. What, what would the police have to do with the I'm rules and regulations here? Maybe they can help you answer your questions. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, that's fine. I have a gentleman here who's recording, and um, so I told him I'd bring him over to talk to you. So just let him um, go ahead and do whatever he needs to do out here in the atrium area. You've got to confirm. Great. All right, thank you. Thanks, officer. Appreciate it. Well, there you go. Ma'am, I would just ask that you, just for future reference, if you let the clerks know so that way they can, you know, not escalate the situation next time. So the officer did say this is public property. We have a right to record here. Absolutely ridiculous. You have to be part of the DRBA, <laughs> a public building. So we have the lounge area here. You have to be part of the agency in order to film those same law enforcement officers from earlier who didn't wear their seatbelts in violation of Delaware law. Again, laws and rules for thee, not for me. All right, fellow patriots, we are just getting out of the Delaware River and Bay Authority. So started off with the maintenance workers saying that this property here was private property. As we know, it is public property. It is funded by taxpayers, we the people. So it's always interesting to me that our public servants 
say that they're working on public property. They know they're being paid by taxpayers. Why would they think the property they're working on is private property? It makes no sense. They called law enforcement, the DRBA, police. Two officers came out. Both of them knew they couldn't do anything because I was engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. But instead of just not making contact or just being friendly, they had to go and make their unwarranted directives. Make sure you stay in the public areas. Yeah, like I'm going to go hop a fence or break in through a window or a door, right? Make sure you stay in the public areas. And it's funny because after they're giving me these unwarranted directives, trying to exert their authority, letting their ego show, they were in violation of state law by not wearing their seatbelt. So I gave them their directives of put your seatbelt on, put it on. Why are you breaking state law? Laws and rules for thee and not for me. And it's absolutely despicable. Put your seatbelt on. How many tickets have you given to people in the state of Delaware for not wearing their seatbelt and cost taxpayers an additional thousands and thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars, in these fines without a victim? Put your seatbelt on. Lead by example. But they don't. And you think when I would have mentioned it to them, they would have said, oh, you know, Let's put our seatbelt on. He caught us. Let's just put it on. No, because their ego, ego would not allow them to not allow them to comply with the own law that they swore to uphold. It's absolutely disgusting. And then make excuses like, oh, I'm not driving right now. Come on, you are driving. You just stopped for a second and then you continue to drive without putting your seatbelt on. Both of them, both of the officers didn't have their seatbelt on. And then when we went into the Easy Pass Center over here and to the police department, this is all on the same grounds here, you know, the workers there, public servants there, what are you doing? You have to be part of the DRBA to record. It's, come on, how long are we going to have to do this before our public servants wake up and realize we have constitutional rights and we have the right to transparency and accountability within our government? Even the manager had no idea. She had to go to the law enforcement side of the uh, building And the officer's like, he's allowed to. It's a public building. It's public property. But, you know, it's just, it never ceases to amaze me, the ignorance, the ego-driven law enforcement officers, how the rules and laws for thee and not for me. It's, it's, It's getting old at this point. I hope things start to really change. We're trying to change things little by little, affect change in our great country here. But let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. I'd love to read your comments. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island audit. Peace.